Color grading is so much fun and you can see it has a major impact on a film and making it look professional and helping convey the emotion that helps tell the story. That's why I've created this quick tutorial on helping you improve your color grading so you can stand out from your competition and better understand how color theory plays a role in creating looks. While DaVinci Resolve is accessible to the masses and it, it is a high-end tool, people tend to not follow a proper strategy or workflow like colorists use and this is simply because no one has shown them how to do this yet. Well, wouldn't it be cool if you could follow the same proven strategies that Hollywood colorists use? I want to let you know about a free training I'll be doing on Thursday on how to color grade using the same methods top colorists use and to attend, just click the button, reserve my spot now below this video to register. And I actually want to start showing you some of these strategies right now and give you an overview of the training. So one of the biggest things that's going to have a dramatic impact on your color grading is having a proper workflow in place or the steps that you follow from fixing an issue onto creating a look. So here's that workflow. The first step is to go through the entire project and perform color corrections on each of our clips. I've demonstrated that here by showing you some clips from filmsupply.com, which by the way are the originals before any color correction has been done. And you can see they really could use some brightening because they were shot dark, uh, as well as fixing the white balance in the shots that are too green. Now what this does is this forms our base correction. The second step is to go through the clips and perform shot to shot matching so that there's continuity when you play back through them. We want the shots to look like they're all from the same scene instead of being disconjointed. Okay? Now that the clips look good and are matched together, the third step is to group all the clips together so that we are set up to apply a uniform look across all the clips as sort of a filter effect on top of our base correction. So the way to do that in Resolve is to select all of the clips, right click on any of the thumbnails, and choose Add into New Group. Then just give it a name. Now there's one other thing that we need to do and that is to change this drop down in the node graph from clip to group post clip. This simply means that any changes we make from here on will affect all the clips that are in the group. Changing it back to clip allows us to come back to making individual corrections to each clip. But with it set back to group post clip and resetting that ugly green correction I made for demonstration purposes, we are now ready for the last step. Step four is the fun part and this is now where we create a look that supports the story. So we need to ask ourselves, what kind of look do we want to create? Do we want to choose colors and contrast that support the mood? Do we want to suggest a different time of day, a particular location, or a different genre or time period? Well, I've chosen to go with the harsh yellow greens look to aid with the sad emotion because these colors have an unpleasant adverse effect on both men and women. See, this is where color theory comes into play. And here's a key tip. It's best to go extreme with the look or too far with it because we can easily dial back its intensity or adjust it to taste with a single control from the keying menu. By adjusting the output gain, we're effectively dialing back the opacity. Okay, now let's take a look at the clips and we can see our workflow paying off. Our shots look good, they match even with the look applied because we did all that beforehand and I want to make you a promise. If you follow this workflow, you'll see a major improvement in your results. Now just to review, the first thing again is to go through and do color correction, uh, fixing mistakes or any problems. The second thing is to do shot matching, ensuring that there's continuity across the clips. Then we just need to group them together, set the mode to group post clip, and then apply a look that supports the story. Now, I know we just ran through all of that real quickly, but I wanted to give you the big picture so you can start seeing better results today. And you know what? If you'd like me to teach you all this stuff for free, 
I'd really be delighted to. As I've mentioned, I've created a special training where I show you how to color grade the same way a Hollywood colorist would using their same approach and techniques. I'll show you how to dig in and do color corrections to fix problems you may be facing. I'll show you a ridiculously simple way for matching multiple shots so you can get great looking matches. And I'll help you to understand the art and theory and show you the two different ways to actually apply color theory so that it's easy and understandable will break down those mystical barriers. And on top of all that, I'll be giving away a tutorial on how to recreate the look of any film. It's a $49 value and it's a free gift to anyone that's attending. If you like the look of a particular film, this will help you to recreate that look on your own footage. And finally, we'll be giving away a tangent ripple control surface to one lucky winner chosen at random. This is a really cool tool that allows you to grade more efficiently and have more intimate control with the colors. So if that all sounds good to you, here's what to do next. Below this video, you'll see a button that says, reserve my spot now. Go ahead and click on it and on the next page, go ahead and enter in your name and email address. It should show your local time for when the webinar is on Thursday and after you've entered your details, go ahead and click the register now button. The training, of course, is totally free, and you'll also be getting footage from filmsupply.com, the same media you've seen here, so that you can follow along and practice on your own. And listen, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for you, and I really look forward to seeing you on the training. So if you like this, go ahead and register now, because you're going to love the advanced training I have prepared for you. Thank you so much for watching this, and I hope that you have a great day.